Well, the action is expected to ramp up Tuesday at the Republican National Convention in Tampa, Florida. Over 4,000 delegates and alternate delegates are gathering to nominate Mitt Romney as their candidate to be the next president of the United States. Romney arrives in Tampa today as the storm-shortened convention begins its full schedule of events. Romney and his wife spent Monday at a high school auditorium in New Hampshire rehearsing the speeches they will give at the convention where Romney will formally accept the party's nomination. Ann Romney and keynote speaker New Jersey Governor Chris Christie are slated to give their speeches tonight. Mitt Romney had originally planned to arrive at the convention on Thursday to accept the nomination, but officials say he decided to bump up his arrival so he could be in attendance for his wife's address. Romney says he's looking forward to the convention. I like my speech. I really like Ann's speech. Uh, our sons are already in Tampa, and uh, they say it's, uh, it's terrific there, a lot of great friends, and uh, we're looking, for looking forward to a great convention. As we noted earlier, the Republican Party formally opened the convention on Monday but postponed most of the proceedings as Tropical Storm Isaac skipped past the coastline of Florida. Some Republicans are expressing concern that Isaac could overshadow the event if it makes a destructive landfall on the Gulf Coast later this week. Now, if that happens, it may prompt the party to tone down the gathering's celebratory nature. This does put a crimp on the time, so uh, you may have seen conventions around the country that run short of time, it causes a lot of problems. And so I, I would rather that not be the case. This is going to, it's going to compress things. I wish them luck in, <laughs> in how we proceed. Meanwhile, the Republican governor of the Gulf state of Louisiana, Bobby Jindal, canceled his planned convention speech, saying that he was staying home to deal with the prospect of Isaac hitting the state as a hurricane. Now, for more on the happenings at the Republican National Convention, VOA's Doug Bernard joins us live via Skype from Tampa, Florida. Hi, Doug. Demi, good to hear you. Yes, likewise. So tell us what we can expect to hear from the Republican Convention, especially in terms of what the party wants the, you know, the voting population to know, but then also, more importantly, Mitt Romney introducing himself to the American public. We understand more than 40 percent do not know him. That's right. And, you know, earlier you mentioned the, the compression uh, of this uh, uh, convention. It was supposed to be four days. It now really kicks off uh, formally, officially today, Tuesday. Uh, today, uh, Governor Romney will be formally nominated. And then later, uh, Mrs. Romney's address and that keynote by Chris Christie. But what you can expect, even though they've had to compress things, the message remains the same. And it's sort of a one-two punch, if you will. Uh, the first being uh, kind of a softening of the image of Mitt Romney. Uh, there are some voters who feel he is perhaps a bit aloof, maybe a bit frosty, or they just really don't know or they don't feel they know who he is. Well, that in part is what uh, Mrs. Romney's address Tuesday night uh, is supposed to combat. And the second punch, of course, is putting the full blame on President Obama uh, for the faltering economy and the poor uh, unemployment picture. Okay, now obviously um, getting the public to know Mitt Romney better is one objective. And as you just noted, there are some issues that the Republican is trying to stand apart from the Democratic Party. What specifically is the Republican Party trying to push through in terms of this is what it's going to do for the country as opposed to what the Democratic Party is doing? Well, I think you can get a, a measure of that by the themes that they have. Every day at the convention here has a theme. Today, Tuesday is we built it. Wednesday is we can change it. And Thursday, culminating in Mr. Romney's address, is we believe in America. What you can expect to hear uh, and how they're trying to separate themselves from uh, the uh, policies of President Obama uh, is presenting a picture of a party that's fiscally conservative, uh, a party that will trim the country's budget sales if you will, uh, but also a party that uh, respects uh, more traditional values. Uh, that, of course, uh, a longstanding theme uh, at Republican conventions. So they look, I think, to try to draw some sharp contrasts mm -hmm. uh, with the Democrats and President Obama on those lines. What about on the foreign policy aspect? Uh, Mitt Romney and the party have at least labeled Mr. Obama and the Democratic Party's legacy on Africa as disappointing. What do you know about what the Republican Party is uh, pledging for Africa? 
Well, of course, uh, the, the party and, and Governor Romney uh, have positions and policy statements on Africa. Uh, but let's be honest, at this convention, foreign policy is playing uh, almost no role at all. And when it does come up at all, uh, it tends to be the, the issues of Iran and its possible pursuit of a nuclear weapon. So uh, Africa has, has in some ways, and foreign policy in general, has been sidelined. Now, there are some African delegates here. Uh, we've been able to confirm uh, at least four, uh, some from Madagascar, from Kenya, uh, from the Gambia and Nigeria. Uh, but, but overall, there's just not a, a, a big presence here. Um, and I don't think that we're going to really be hearing much from the podium it, across any of these days on foreign policy matters, mm -hmm. especially Africa. Well, thank you so much, Doug. That's VOA's Doug Bernard reporting live via Skype from the Republican National Convention in Tampa, Florida. And he'll join us again Thursday with updates. Well, you can stay in touch with InFocus by going on our Facebook page. Just click like, read our stories, leave your comments. The address, facebook.com slash VOA InFocus.